today is our third annual imaginary meal meeting at the Rotary Club of Roseville. My name is Viviana Mason. I am the director of the Roseville Police Activities League. Hi, I'm Dave Martinez. I'm the executive director of Plaster Food Bank. And the idea is that we Rotarians will imagine eating meal but not being served any food. So when Gopal first brought up the imaginary meal, clearly it's, it's different, it's unique, and that probably is what makes it stand out. And the money that we save is distributed to two local food-related charities, Placer Food Bank and Roseville Police Assistance League. It was a nutritious meal. And so the Imaginary Meals is a, is a wonderful idea about those that are food insecure. So many of the kids that we service in Roseville uh, don't know if they'll have a meal uh, when they leave our facility for the evening. And food insecurity disproportionately affects children. If you look through the numbers, children are very much more affected than just the average population. Currently in the three counties, we have over 82,000 food insecure, and at least 25,000 of those are children. Um, and if we're able to provide them with some food um, as they leave, we are more certain that they will be able to have food when they get home. This is, I think, an amazing opportunity to bring intention to fasting and highlight that we are doing this with purpose. The idea is to go from sympathy for people who are facing hunger to empathy because we are feeling hunger for one hour that they have to feel many times. There are a lot of people that are affected by food insecurity. The concept of the imaginary meals, the ability to raise funds to get meals over to children is an incredible idea. I think that most of us don't realize what it takes to, to miss a meal and all those are food insecure struggle with that on a daily basis. It's not really about losing weight, but about dieting for a higher cause. It's that power of visioning that really makes this imaginary meal work. It's to get people to donate the money they would have spent on that imaginary meal to a charity dealing with hunger. If the concept spreads, Kapoor says the impact could be great. We are turning around and donating proceeds to something that will help end hunger in our community and I think that's an amazing thing. So we are honored to be here today. And we hope you'll partner with us as well. Thank you. So that is our imaginary meal.